Hey, I am like here with my cat, and today I want to talk about something that I have heard in some the channels and on YouTube at the same time and social media in general. It's life language, language from the aliens. What do you think? What do you have heard? And what do you think? You know, this is what we're gonna talk today. I'm gonna say it from my own perspective. So I think life language comes from my source, universe, God, uh, whatever that name it is, creator of all. And from my source, from who I am at the spirit level, it is the form of communication that is not actually words, it's more like electric pulsations that have a flow and that flow have a sound because they are light in motion, right? Everything expands and contracts, expands and contracts. So light will pulsate and glow and then will fade away. But it will get born to a new spark and that spark and another new spark are gonna form like a line a pattern in that motion have a sound and that represents at the multi-dimensional level the expression of energy the expression of the light the expression of quantum energy so where does it come from it comes from the source period where all the serious in humanity we like to put labels of anything to feel where do i belong right countries, we have borders, we have races, we have uh, beauty, ugly, smart, etc, etc. So, it will come from every aspect in my soul. If I do have a soul extension that is Pleiadian, then what Pleiadian is going to be. If I do have a soul extension that it's Native American or, or Aztec or fairy, then all of those aspects will filter the source expression to me. Because if you Google types of flat language, it's gonna, it's, you're going to find answers like Lemuria, Odentis, blah, 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 but in a way, right? It's like, for example, if I do have my nails done in a salon, maybe you could say that your nails are red, but are nails red? No, they have a natural color that's transparent and then have like skin color, right? But I can put paint on it and then go ahead colors on it. So this is how light language would sound like Atlantean, like Lyrian, like Aetherian, like whatever, but it's because all of those aspects are in my soul. My light language is unique and does sound like anyone else. Your light language is unique. If you're already doing it or if you're going to develop, if you're watching this video, most likely you're drawn to light language, that's called glossolalia or tongues. And it can come to be activated to the movement through the sound or through symbology. Now, from these three aspects, it could be on any expression of yourself. Whether that it is alien, yes, in a way, but not really, because it's, I'm human. So, my human and my alien and my source are going to blend into an alchemy that will sound Arcturian and then may sound like. <sighs> Sorry for moving the phone. Or this Pleiadian, my Pleiadian, my God, <laughs> it may sound like. Uh... Sarah 
If you see my language is clearing something that maybe it is shamanic, it will sound like Tak kavaraka soro ke tiki raka vava soro dere kara kara pubra de de se de ki yada tara ehi ya kara soro wari ki de ke da tara sara ke yasha. When you heard light language, just come like, like hitting something. <laughs> As it gets it's clearing, you can do fairy light language like. This is kind of how they feel to me. Maybe my Lemurian is Maybe my Rengue has got to sound like I can do any more times. Some are better than other ones because I have practiced more. Some I prefer the most. I love the Yidian, it's my favorite. I love angelic. I love with Mary Magdalene comes through. I Turians in love. And it depends. <laughs> Sometimes I open to a new type to see how it comes through, and then I let it flow. And it's part of my own exploration. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, if you think this information must help, please give a like and cheers so I can keep adding more free content and we can all learn, connect, and grow together. Mm -hmm. Thank you.